criteria a recruiter uses to evaluate the candidate experience, competence, do we need to show portfolio, digital presence? Oh, I think that's big. Like you need yeah. a portfolio, right? Yes, I, I would highly recommend if you are in the marketing or any sort of visual medium, you need to have a portfolio and you'd be surprised how many people don't. And there are a lot of workers who have been, they have not been unemployed or in job search mode for 10, 12 years. They may find that they have to create things that they didn't have to create the last time they were on the job market. So yes, a very simple portfolio. You can, There are portfolio sites. If you're a little bit more on the creative side, Behance, uh, Coraflot, where you can post your portfolio there. They have the template, they have the format, and we can search it. Um, I would recommend that in addition to possibly your own branded site. I think, and I don't think it should only be for creatives. I think you could be a you know, marketing executive and have a portfolio site that shows, you know, some deeper examples of your work. Um, is it okay to send somebody to a LinkedIn um, page, your LinkedIn Yeah, page? oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You're, in fact, that's a resume tip is that your LinkedIn link not only should be custom, which you can go onto LinkedIn and you can take away all the numbers because they will give you a really ugly URL when you first sign up. But you can go in. I think you can only edit it one time, possibly twice, like if your last name changed. I've gone through that several times. And um, anyway, you can take away the numbers and you can edit it to be very clean, you know, just be, you know, forward slash Nancy Campbell. Um, so that link should be on your resume, definitely. And your LinkedIn presence is, is very important. It is the first place that we go after we've looked at the resume and the portfolio. Mm -hmm.